So this is a continuation um, from yesterday, our past few days, about our mind. Well, then afflictions will come to that uh, later. I control the mind and spirit causing transmigration. Obviously, this is the one that drew the mind. We go through these three worlds, the form, formless and the desire world. Obviously, all this within samsara, giving rise um, because of the affliction, giving rise to craving and five desire. So essentially, this one here, even five desire is greed, right? Um, with anger, rage, and impatience, we hatefully go against what is proper. Greed, then this is anger, and this is the delusion, right? So greed, anger, delusion. And that's where the fundamental uh, afflictions are. But obviously, Master went on to talk about the 10 affliction, how they come about. And if you all know, there's so so the five chronic affliction, greed, anger, uh, ignorance, uh, arrogance, and doubt. So in Master's explanation here, a single thought or right thought can lead us to the great body path. So in much the same way, a single thought, a single unwholesome thought can also propel us to the lower realms. So that's the reason why um, enlightenment is through the mind. And, um, and so we got to be very, very uh, aware of our mind, which brings me to two points. One is, um, I reinforce again is the consciousness. So unless we go into consciousness, we do not know what we are doing. So the consciousness, the higher level consciousness reside outside your mind. Okay, so if one doesn't imagine now, if it's purely your mind, without the higher consciousness, you'll be controlled by your mind. And how does the mind control you? The mind will control you because of this thing called ego. Okay, so then we may not be aware of ourselves. And um, so this um, uh, thing about this thought is that uh, we need to be very mindful. Secondly, is that the, 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 the point about, um, about this uh, awareness, um, this awareness about the virtues that we have, the fundamental virtues that we need to undertake. And also, which is also the reason why we need to cultivate the heart of virtues first, because if the heart of virtues is with you, that sets up the foundation, the ground of your thoughts. I, and, and the Buddha has taught you know, no but uh, uh, eightfold path, uh, right understanding. So those are the, the foundation of virtues. Are. This is one that virtues are there, is the thoughts, your unwholesome thoughts should not arise, but, but when it does arise, you quickly abandon that. So this, all these things will drive us otherwise uh, to cravings, which is actually the greed that we have, greed, anger, ignorance, and, and as a result, which obviously, because we still uh, live, we are still householders, and um, we're still working, we are run our own businesses. So we compete and take from each other. That's what business is about. That's the way the worldly convention goes. That's what we've been taught to do. That's how the world functions. Then they fight for things and they <clears throat> and um, they cannot take them, they feel impatient. And that they get enraged, that's how anger arises. So what are these 10 afflictions? There's always greed, anger, ignorance, um, and uh, this is the ignorance part of it. Uh, Master gave the example, it's like ignorant children in the burning house. Thought it was fun to play with fire because they did not know what was good or bad for them. That is ignorance. Now uh, arrogance, there are different types of arrogance. Um, Master mentioned about seven types of arrogance. So I just summarize in here. You can read about that. Uh, so this is fundamental. This arrogance itself, superiority over inferiors exaggerated arrogance, asserting one's superiority over equals, outrageous arrogance, superiority over superiors, egoistic arrogance, the root of all other arrogance. This is considering oneself to be superior to others. Then there's false arrogance, realization of truth, one has not realized. Modest arrogance, admitting slightly inferiority to those who are vastly superior. And then there's also perverted arrogance, which is a person of virtue one does not have. I'm, I'm sure you different types these types of arrogance have come across people with these types of um, different arrogance, and then there's doubt, right? 
So then, then there, there is this view of self, which we um, a few lessons ago, Marcel mentioned about. Uh, there's a view of self, extreme views, deviant views, stubborn views, and view of deviant, deviant uh, precepts. Now, extreme views, as I mentioned, there are two types here. One is eternalism, the other one is nihilism. So internalism uh, might recognize that in terms of life, they'll come back like the life, but the only thing is that is, uh, don't worry, I don't have to cultivate this life, I'll cultivate, cultivate the next life. Um, so this, this is uh, this a wrong view that one may not have the opportunity or not have do not have the endowment or the condition to practice well. We are not even sure that that one will be able to come back as a human being. Nihilism believes that there's only one lifetime theory and there are no subsequent ones. So the lessons learned here, greed, anger, ignorance, arrogance, and doubt are the five chronic afflictions. And um, so when we see objects, thoughts arise and mix with the skandhas, um, then we give rise to unwholesome thoughts and then we continue to arise, which is called the chronic uh, affliction. So then there's five view of self extremely, which is all listed uh, down here. So these are the five acute afflictions. So that's how the end come about, five chronic affliction and five acute affliction. And Master Penalist said there are countless afflictions, therefore we must constantly listen um, to the teaching. How can there be countless affliction? Because imagine you got a chronic and acute affliction mixed up with a uh, scanners and, you, and five times five plus the, the uh, um, the skandhas that you have, the five skandhas, go five times five times five, then plus the countless condition that may arise. So that can give rise to countless afflictions. So contemplation. To the ordinary mind, a downpour is to be avoided, but ignored and ignored. And, but they do not but they do, they do know that a power is needed in life, just as rain supplies mankind with water for sustenance. So in our life, that we can so get so easily afflicted um, by the count conditions that we have. So sometimes um, the downpour that comes to us, um, and these are all the life becomings that we have to face. So then we need to understand with the Dharma to what the downpour means. Just as rain, without rain, we cannot survive. So if people do not collect the water, how can then one live? So in the same way, when karma unfolds, collect them by accepting them and consume them by learning, repaying, and fulfilling. So in much the same way that rain comes, we consume the rain, right? We may not like the, the rain and the thunderstorm sometimes, but still consume the water. So in much, very much the same way, we can accept the karma that unfolds, but we consume them by learning from karmic lessons, repaying karmic debts, and fulfilling karmic responsibility. When you do, you wash to purify the heart, to gain the clarity of the mind. And therefore, we wash away our afflictions. So on relationship, Harmonize with others to purify the past of his karmic causes. Live in the present with purity, and then the future will be pure for you and your lives to come. Okay, God and brothers and sisters. God and, God and so much, uh, Brother Chin, for the wonderful, wonderful sharing. Really eternally grateful. So generously outpouring your wisdom. I have a question before you leave. What what is your the heart of virtues? How what are the virtues that uh, I can't I can't remember the virtues that you mentioned before. Sorry, say that again. Uh, the heart of virtues just now, Brother Chin said, we need to cultivate heart of virtues as that is the foundation of our thoughts. So, um, Brother, mind to explain a bit about what virtues you're referring to. You 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 give me ten years. I explain to you. <laughs> no la. <laughs> I give you ten seconds. <laughs> no, uh, just just the virtues that you you you, you okay. talk about. Yeah. Um. 
very broadly, very broadly, yeah. Mm. Uh, they are 18 of them. 18? Wow. 18. Okay. I found six only. La. <laughs> uh, six of the heart, yeah. Six of the heart, six of the mind, and six of the nature. Oh, okay, okay. okay? So if I just purely on the heart, um, it's being kind, caring, helpful. Okay. Being merciful, loving, and compassionate. Okay, mm. these are very, very broad Basic. six virtues. Okay. Mm. But to get to the six, <laughs> mm. uh, Challenge. a lot <laughs> of steps lot. to get to the six. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Uh, this, this one I'm sharing with you, uh, what you call a householder practice. Okay. Householder, householder practice because uh, we're not in Sangha. So we we can only, you see, in the Sangha, Sangha have um, uh, hundreds of precepts to keep. All right. Mm. Whereas for the householders, we practice to the best of, 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 of our ability. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we practice to the best of our ability. Um, we need to cultivate the virtues whilst living a householder life. Mm -hmm. Right. So being kind, caring, and helpful. Loving, compassion. Right, it's very fundamental. Mm. Right. Then now the, the next three will be more difficult being merciful, loving, and compassionate. Because a lot of people that I find, they start at being merciful. Mm. Why? Because they cannot forgive. Mm. You see, when you cannot forgive, you cannot love. Yep. You cannot love, you cannot be compassionate. Right. Do you understand? Right, right, so, right. But being kind is the simplest of the lot, right? Yep, yep. Um, you see, one can be caring. Now, next step, being helpful. Helpful is about action. Right. One can be kind, caring, but not necessarily helpful, you know. That's correct. But generally speaking, if you cultivate, you will start to grow. Right. The good thing about this virtue, when you take one, you go to the next. Mm. Kind, mm. caring, helpful. Then you will slowly grow, grow to merciful. Yes. Uh, I have seen, I have come across people who drop off and come to being merciful. That's the reason why um, uh, it's very simple, kind, caring, helpful, merciful, loving, compassionate. But there's a lot of practices to get to that level. But very broadly, just focus on the six. Okay. All right. <laughs> Catch up with you in the next okay. 10 years. Okay. Bye. Right. Can, we, can we have a good photo? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, Styrene is uh, reminding us that it's on your video. We'll take a good photo before we allow Brother Chin to leave. Uh, I can go and pop on and on for days on this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think next day, next time we will have to allocate one day, la, 24 hours uh, to Brother Chin. He said days after days. La. days la. Okay. Start with one day first. La, because okay. otherwise, uh, uh, okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, let us uh, continue with our sharing. Uh, can we have uh, maybe Sister Julie to say a few words? Uh? Hi, Sister Julie. Uh, Sister, Sister Julie, in a boat, I man. See you. Wow, yeah, she's in a boat. Last Hualien so already, uh. How wow. do you go to Hualien? Spiritually us. in Hualien already. Sister Julie, can you unmute yourself? Yeah. Sister Julie, or uh, hiding? Uh. Hiding behind <laughs> Brother Lau. <laughs> <laughs> no hide one, nah. Sister Julie, you must say a few words, nah. We saw you already. Are you able to unmute yourself, Sister Julie, or Brother Lau? Okay, then uh, we will move on uh, to maybe uh, Sister Yvonne. Yeah, can we have Sister Yvonne to share your insight for today? Good morning, Sister Yvonne. Good morning, Brother Robert and Anne. Uh, good morning, our brother and sisters. So truly, uh, the mind is so powerful. Everything starts from the mind. But Master have given us the both sides. Uh, to have the state of mind of Buddha is to be tranquil, uh, still and pure and undefiled. To have the characteristic of Bodhisattva is to give unconditionally, love everybody equally, willing to give without conditions, uh, practicing the six perfections. So on the other side, Master has shown us what it meant to have, to have animal habitual tendency, uh, what it means to have ghost or monster or goblin calf mind. So both sides of the, uh, of the state master has painted to us. 
So it is for us as we walk uh, in the human realm or now as a, we have the body that can create both good and bad karma. So daily, uh, have to remember master word, contemplate, be careful, be mindful. And so we have to, uh, you know, like the five poison, all of us have it, it's so easily we can get diverted. And we have to come to the mind, do we want to get afflicted all the time? So I like Brother Chin's today word, forgive. Forgive, that's the foundation for us to go to the next phase. Just like when we look to Buddha for compassion, what does compassion mean? means we can love everybody equally, irrespective of color and nations. So in today's life, it is a journey for us to strive to achieve the characteristic of a Bodhisattva, to have the state of Buddha mind, versus do we want to have the animal habitual tendency or the goal state of mind and uh, bringing damage to society and the nations. Kanan's just my sharing today. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Forgiveness is a very powerful tool that you can use uh, to drive away a lot of our afflictions. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Sister Yvonne. Next, can we have uh, maybe Sister Min Lee to share a few words? Selamat pagi, morning. Sister Min Lee. Good morning, Selamat pagi, brother and sister. Uh, today is Christmas Day. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Uh, actually, yesterday I came across the home visit um, online meeting. You no, know? due to this uh, pandemic, uh, we cannot meet the Kanan who are face to face, and a lot of things uh, have not settled. And because of this uh, Kanan who, uh, she is a Christian too. Uh, to her, to go through this pandemic is a, a great hit, you know. Now she become a single mother, uh, plus uh, her salary being deducted uh, due to earlier borrowing from the from the uh, employer. So she having a hard time to feed five children at the same time. So I was thinking uh, very simple. Uh, how come someone can be so uh, cold-hearted during this time? Uh, uh, lack of compassion. Then I was thinking uh, probably there was uh, any misunderstanding, things like that. Then I come, uh, what can I do? Again, I ask, rather than ask someone else, what can I do? Oh, uh, what can I give to this family? Uh, so it's like uh, what I have now, I have to be thankful and feel blessed. Mm. So there's three uh, there's, uh, three things that I, I have in mind. Uh, first, don't be shallow-minded. Uh, neither to narrow-minded to think of someone else. Uh, reason why uh, these uh, thoughts come to my mind because I'm hollow inside. Uh, no, I should follow the Dharma. Uh, therefore, I will not be low of wisdom, <laughs> low of spirit, <laughs> and low uh, of compassion. So all, all the matters that come to my mind uh, it's not as important to help this family to lift up their spirit during this Christmas. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, Sister Mimi for joining us uh, for, for the sharing. Okay, next, uh, can we hear a few words from Sister Wai Fong? Morning, Sister Wai Fong. Yes, good morning, Brother Robert. Morning. Brother. Yeah. Um, what's this? sermons today about the afflictions that we have is just like what we daily face or what I daily face. Yeah, but um, while well, listening to this, it just brought me back to how um, I was dealing with my, my, my son, my, my children. So um, this view, this stubborn view uh, uh, just came to me. Um, yeah, so I always believe, not to say I always believe, it's because of I wasn't mindful enough sometimes. I, I feel that oh, mother is always right. So uh, when I ask, 
for example, my son could do something and he doesn't get it done. Um, and then the next day I see also didn't get it done. So it just feel that um, he doesn't seem to follow instruction or, or just procrastinate and doesn't want to get things done, um, play around. So it was like this view, this view, oh yeah, he doesn't understand, he, he, he's, he's, he doesn't understand what uh, I have already told him to do and he's not doing it and become naggy, naggy, naggy. And then um, later, when I look back, why is it that he's not get, not doing something? When I see that my anger is arising, why, why, why is he not doing this thing? So I realize that sometimes, like what Master says, when we, when I have doubt in my in the children, um, actually I have to look back. Why is it that he's not doing it? There must be a reason behind it. Actually, he doesn't know how to do it. He just need guidance, but he doesn't know how to open his mouth and ask for help. Um, and then he just um, wait and wait. Actually, he's waiting for some guidance. That's the reason why he was procrastinating. So um, that brought me to think. Um, before I act on something, when I, that, that's the thing, the being mindful is very important. Being mindful, just to observe why is it that something happened? Look behind him. Um, and like what Sister Siu Ching mentioned the other day, uh, instead of being um, naggy, we help them, we guide them along the way, um, show our, uh, be a role model. And that changed things, that changed the perspective. And then you see that, oh, when you guide him along, actually uh, he can follow instructions to get things done. Yeah, that, that's one thing that I have to always contemplate. Do not have this stubborn view, I'm always correct. Do not have doubt in children and, and look behind why they are being like this and guide them along. That's my sharing for today. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much, uh, yeah, Sister Wai Fong, for your wonderful sharing. Next, can we have uh, Sister Effie to share your insight for today? Uh, good morning, brother, brother, uh, brother and sisters. Uh, my take for this morning is uh, the power of the mind. Um, in order to have a positive uh, mindset, we have to nurture. Uh, we have to nurture, put in more effort. Uh, and uh, first and foremost, to uh, sometimes we think that we have knowledge of certain things, so we are. Uh, have our ego and unable to <clears throat> realize that uh, we didn't put into practice and uh, we have this inflated ego, what I mean. So uh, today's uh, master was telling us to uh, recognize, uh, to be aware of ourselves, uh, continue to put in effort to uh, develop and nurture the uh, uh, consciousness and mindfulness uh, with the uh, with uh, going through the purification of the mind by, uh, like Master was saying, the threefold karma, start with the speech, uh, kind words and, uh, and thoughts. Uh, and uh, because kind thoughts uh, gradually will lead us to a, a more positive and more um, like what Dr. Uh, Master uh, Brother Jun was saying, uh, the six virtues. Uh, fundamentals uh, from the heart, start from the heart is being kind, caring, and helpful. And uh, what, <clears throat> sorry, uh, once we, uh, if we do this every day, I think the part uh, going over to being, to being, being merciful, it will be not a, a hindrance of obstruction <clears throat> if we put the Dharma teachings <clears throat> into us. And uh, in order to put in the mind, uh, the Dhamma teachings in us, we have to uh, uh, have first-hand uh, experience uh, uh, to understand ourselves clearly uh, before we can uh, uh, lead others. So uh, before we do that, we have to uh, uh, come into contact with, uh, when we come into contact with the external conditions, uh, our mind should not grasp uh, and, and be led uh, according, accordingly to the uh, external phenomena, but instead um, we have to uh, uh, always uh, don't have uh, always have this uh, uh, enhance to enhance uh, our mind with uh, giving without expectation. I think this is a very powerful. Uh, uh, expect that can uh, 
nurture and propel us to our uh, spiritual cultivation on the right path. And uh, of course, uh, these afflictions are all uh, coming from greed, anger, and ignorance. And Master was saying that greed is the number one, the starter of uh, greed is the starter of where we may go wrong in our cultivation. So the most important thing, like for myself, is uh, how do I eliminate greed. And uh, in the past, I don't think that you know everybody have greed is a very normal and natural way, natural thing. But as I listen to this platform and master's teaching, I am very confident that even a little, even the greed, a little bit by bit can be eliminated if efforts are put in to be conscious about this area. Because the Star Master was saying it's a starter. Man. So it lets it lead me to uh, my uh, own uh, experience. Thank you. This is my sharing. Yeah, Madam, Madam uh, Sister Afi, for your wonderful sharing. Okay, next, uh, we have uh, Sister Riani to share. Selamat pagi. What happened to your sister-in-law, Sister Riani? Hey, sorry, sorry. What happened to my sister-in-law? Yeah, missing in <laughs> action. Know. Okay. I I, 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 <laughs> no, la, no. La. Actually, she's still uh, in touch with us. La. Uh, in okay, fact, good. last night, we have a, a Kinti Kai Hua that she poured out her feeling. Good. Hmm, good. Two, two, almost two hours. Wow. That is wow. good also la, because maybe she has a quite high expectation la, from the volunteers there in Penang because she told me she feels so warm welcome in our English group mm. but it is different from the Penang side. Mm. I said maybe because of uh, you, you belum kenal ma, tak kenal maka tak sayang. <laughs> Here in care because of we have you my brother Robert, you are so oh. friendly. <laughs> Thank you everybody. Yeah that's why she, 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 she told me I uh, she wished that she stay in KL so can follow us to do activity because she, she, she feel that um the person that uh who who will guide her la, is not so sincere. Uh, that's that's what 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 the impress that is the impression that she felt la, about this sister la. unfortunately huh? but uh, never mind we already uh give her some support and boost <laughs> and she's okay la. Okay, why she cannot join us um, morning? Because she told me uh, she has a difficulty to wake up. It's not because she, don't, she doesn't like. Actually, she's really like to join us. If evening, then it's better. Low. Hmm, that's the reason. Okay, now I want to share about what. Uh, actually, it's a 